Hi, welcome to the processing video for conditions. In this video, I'm going to teach mainly two topics that are expressions and conditions. An expression is essentially a statement that has some kind of result. For example, if I write an expression like 3 plus 8 minus 2, the result of this expression is 9. Now that answer is of type integer. And that's why we say that the expression that we have is an integer expression. So the type of expression is determined by the type of its answer. You can also have an expression which is the first character of hello. And the first character of hello is the character h, which means this expression is of type character. At the same time, I can say is 3 equal to 8. In Java processing and most of the other languages, we use 2 equal to signs for comparison. Now, 3 is not equal to 8, which means this statement, which is 3 is equal to 8, is false. Now, these are the expressions that we are concerned with because the type of these expression is Boolean. These are Boolean expressions. Similarly, I can say 4 equals 2 times 2, which is true. Or I can say 6 is not equal to 5, which is also true. Or I can say 5 is less than 5, which is false. But 5 less than equal to 5 will be true, because it checks for both less than or equivalent. Once we understand an expression, a condition become a condition becomes very simple. The syntax of a condition in Java and processing is if round brackets containing the expression and curly brackets containing the statements that should be executed when that expression is true. So we'll write a sample program where we have size of 400 by 300 and smooth. We don't need to do smooth. Now the expression I have is if width is less than height. Now please note the width is 400 and height is 300. Is 400 less than 300? No. So if 400 is not less than 300, whatever you write inside the curly brackets will not execute. So let's write something like line from 00, 0 to width height. And we run this. It says done but there's no line that has been drawn from 0, 0 to width height. On the other hand, if we say, if width is more than height, that expression becomes true because 400 is more than 300, in which case, the line is drawn from point 0, 0 to width height. Why? Because the expression being true, all the statements in the curly brackets are executed before done is printed in the console. So that's a simple expression. So we'll write this as width is more than height, do a couple of things. Um, and also <coughs> that's it. So the expression is true and that's where the background becomes white, stroke rate is 5, line is drawn, line is drawn and then finally it exits the block and displays that. Now, a more useful statement is an if else statement. It's just like the English language where we say if it's raining, take an umbrella, otherwise wear a cap. So if an expression is true, 
that's the block that's executed if the expression is true and the else block is executed if that expression with that if else statement is false so else what we do is background becomes 0 fill becomes 255 text align is center and text uh, hola meters at width by 2 height by <coughs> in this case you can see that the expression is width less than height is false 400 less than 300 is false so the else block activates and the else block executes which displays a black background and text which is hola amigos at the center of the screen so also increase the size of the text using text size to 36 <coughs> and so on so that's an if else condition now let's write a simple program that illustrates this if else condition a bit more nicely we'll have a window size of 300 by 300 background is white smooth animations draw does nothing what i'd like is whenever the mouse is pressed in the left half Draw a red borderless circle at the location of the mouse, and otherwise draw a blue rectangle centered at the location of the mouse. Okay, so let's try this. As I said, the first thing is if condition. Left half versus right half is determined by mouse x. If it's less than width by 2, it's the left half. So you draw a red borderless circle. So no stroke. Fill with red. Draw the ellipse at the location of the mouse of let's say 50 by 50. Otherwise, like in English language, an if statement must be followed immediately by an else statement. You cannot have statements between if and else. So this will be a wrong. It says found one too many curly brackets character without that, that, that. But you don't have to worry about that. The problem is that this statement is not right. Else, a blue stroke black rate 1 please note because by the previous iteration of mouse press the flag must might have been set to no stroke fill to blue rectangle mode center because it said that the rectangle should be centered at the location of the mouse and draw the rectangle let's say again of size 50 by 50 at the location of the mouse so if my mouse is clicked in the left half, this expression will be true. The if block will enter and will draw a red circle. If I press my mouse here, mouse x is more than width by 2, so the expression is false. So the else block will enter, set the stroke and fill, and draw a rectangle at the location. And that's about if and else condition. Now let's say we weren't actually worrying about the shape per se. The condition simply decides the color of the circle to be red or blue. And then it has to draw the circle at the location of the mouse, whether it's the left half or the right half. So our code looks like that. Okay. 
Now in this case, there is only one statement in the if condition, so you don't need the curly brackets. Similarly, there is only one statement in the else block, so again you don't need the curly brackets. Effectively, if the if or else block contains only one statement, then you do not need the curly brackets. Another concept is that the if statement, which is the if expression and the statements that execute with it, are considered to be one statement. So this whole highlighted section is one statement. As well as an if else block is considered to be one statement, which makes the code really short if I have an if condition inside another if condition. So if I have something like this, let's say, if mouse x is less than width by 2, otherwise something else, which means right half. This is left half. If mouse x is less than width by 2, inside that, if mouse y is less than height by 2, which is the top half, else, which means bottom left and this will stop left. Else, which is the right half, inside that, again if mouse y is less than height by 2, it means the top right half, else, which means the bottom right half. You can see that there are too many curly brackets here. And let me just write some functional code here. So, depending on where the mouse is, the color of the circle would be set accordingly. In such cases, the bracketing simplification really helps. Now we start from here. If mouse y is less than height by 2, there's only one statement. So we can get rid of the curly brackets. Else, block has also one statement, so I can get rid of the curly brackets. Similarly, over here and in the else block. Now, if mouse x is less than width by 2, do this whole thing. But in this block, there is only one statement, which is the if else statement. So again, I can get rid of the curly brackets. And similarly, from the else block, because it has only one statement, which is the if else statement. So you can see my condition becomes really nice and cascaded and short. This draws circles depending on the quadrant we are in, essentially.